Hello everyone, and welcome to Full Sin Inc. My name is that camping guy, co-owner of Full Sin, and today I will show you how to download and install ProMods Canada for Truckers MP. Support for ProMods Canada was released on December 4th and includes 13 cities from the southwest region of the Canadian province, British Columbia. Please note that in order to use the ProMods Canada update, you will need to have purchased the Washington and Oregon DLC for American Truck Sim. This video will be short and sweet, so let's get stuck in. To begin, you need the mod. There's a link in the description below, and it is also pinned in our Discord for our Full Send Inc. members. This link takes you directly to the mod website and step one of the installation. The Pro Mods Canada website has an easy to follow four step install process for getting the mod downloaded and onto your computer. Step one is here. Click on the hyperlink that says click here to generate your dev file. A new window will open. Since this guide is geared toward the average user, leave everything alone on this page. All the settings should stay default except for vegetation drawing distance, which you can increase or decrease depending on how powerful your computer is. After you've finished any desired changes, click generate at the bottom left corner. This file should be in your download folder and we will come back to this in a moment. For now, close the generate dev browser window and click go to step two on the previous installation window at the bottom left corner. Step two, on this page, you are presented with a classic red pill versus blue pill option to install the rest of the mod. For a small donation of $1.27, you can help support the developer of ProMods and download the mod at your full download speed. On the other hand, you can choose the free option and download the mod at a super throttled speed. Also, I will take this brief moment to note that I am not affiliated with ProMods in any way and get absolute squat for encouraging you to not be a cheapskate. Regardless of your selection, you will be seeking to step three. Step three. Here's where your red versus blue pill decision makes a difference. Selecting ProMods Canada V1.0.0 will either take you to a payloads buy screen where you can select buy and download and then use your PayPal to donate $1.27, which will then begin your download, which will be done in a matter of moments, or the download will begin immediately and you will suffer through an agonizing eight to 10 minute download because you wanted to save $1.27. I hope you sleep well with your choice. Here's where we will deviate from the website's four step program. You can close the probe mods website after the mod has finished downloading. I have already downloaded this file, so we will continue to the next step. Here is my step four. You should now have two files in your download folder. One should be ProMods ATS Def V100 and ProMods ATS V100. There are three out of the four files inside the ProMods ATS V100 that we need. That will be Models V100, Map, and Assets. First, we will move the def file we downloaded earlier into the ATS folder. Right click the def file and click Cut. Now navigate to your ATS mod folder. My ATS mod folder is in the Steam default location. If you have moved yours from the default location, then you need to locate it on your own. Select Documents, American Truck Simulator, Mod. Here, we will right click and paste the def file. We now need to extract the files from the zipped Pro Mods folder and put them into the ATS mod folder. Navigate back to your downloads folder. Right click your ATS Pro Mods folder. I am using WinRAR, so the way I extract files might be slightly different from yours if you're using WinZip or some other zip program, but the goal is the same. Here, we will right click the zip pro mods folder, click extract files, navigate to the ATS mod folder, documents, American Truck Simulator, mod, click OK. You should now have four files in your ATS mod folder. You can erase the readme if you wish, or leave it there, it does not matter. However, all of your files must say v100.scs. There are no exceptions. If they say v251, then you accidentally downloaded the ETS2 Pro Mods file and not the ATS version provided in my link. That is okay. Just erase those mods and reinstall using the link I provided in the description or go to promods.net and select the Pro Mods Canada download option at the top of the page. And now for the final piece of the puzzle and clarification on why we skipped step four of the ProMods installation guide. In the context of using ProMods Canada and Truckers MP, you do not need to activate the mods as their step four says. Just having the ProMod files in your ATS mod folder is all that is needed. Let us launch the ATS multiplayer through Truckers MP and take a peek at the newly added country and cities. And voila, it's like magic. I hope this brief tutorial helped you out in some small way. I also want to give a shout out to the Truckers MP Community Manager Lethal for his guidance in creating this. 
be sure to check me out live on Twitch six nights a week starting at 6 p.m. CST at twitch.tv forward slash that camping guy. Finally, Full Send Inc. is actively recruiting for our VTC. Please join our Discord server to get all the information required to join the VTCs and be a part of this amazing community. Until next time, safe travels and full send, old son.